到来 ，Welcome to C C O Stars Show. So, <laughs> okay.、Um, we, I think we need a little bit introduction of yourself first. Yeah, sure. So from Carl. So Kiss Me Kate is like a show within a show. Yeah. So、uh, my character in Kiss Me Kate is Fred,、uh -huh. and then.、Um, In the show, there's also a Shakespeare play、yes. that they do, which is Taming of the Shrew,、mm -hmm. uh, and in that he plays Petruchio.、Mm -hmm. uh, he's the director of Kiss Me Kate, and he's also cast himself as the main star. So he's got a very big ego.、Uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and Jessica. Ah,、uh, yes, I'm Jessica O'Donoghue, and I play Lily Benessi、mm -hmm. in Kiss Me Kate, and she plays Catherine, who is the Shrew in the shrew. Taming of the Shrew. <laughs> yes, I'm Charles Alexander. I play Bill Calhoun. In Kiss Me Kate, who plays、uh, Lucentio in Tame and the Shrew,、mm -hmm. and、um, it's been an absolute ball to play that part. All the singing and dancing involved, it's been a lot of fun. And Jenny, yeah, I'm Jenny Little, and I play Lois Lane in Kiss Me Kate, who plays Bianca in the Taming of the Shrew.、Mm -hmm. How was your audi audition? Um, it was pretty grueling. There, there were lots <laughs> of people auditioning, and it was a long day. You、mm -hmm. came in for your、uh, initial audition where you sang. We sang a couple of songs,、mm -hmm. and then we got called back、um, with a smaller group、uh -huh. to audition. Specifically for our role,、uh -huh. um, and we had to sing specific songs from the show and、uh, read lines and dialogues. So that was pretty tricky. <laughs> <laughs> I think auditions are always hard, and no matter how many times you do an audition and how many shows you've done, the auditions you always get nervous for because、yeah. there's a lot at stake.、Mm. It's, yeah. it's very different from performing. You know,、mm. you're really、yeah, being judged. And、um, about the whole show, which is your favourite part? Uh, I'd have to say probably my favourite parts in the show is one of the Shakespeare、uh, parts, which is、uh, there's a big fight scene between <laughs> me and Jessica,、mm. and、uh, it's just it's a lot of fun because、uh, once you once you've got all the words and the meaning and everything down.、Um, We jump around and she jumps on my back and we're tackling each other. <laughs> yeah, it's the funniest part. It's very funny. I'm slamming her back and it's the audience reaction so far has been really good to that. So I think、uh, I feed off that a lot and because of that, that's that's probably my favourite part in the show. Yeah.、Mm. Okay. Your 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 favourite part is just slapping each other. <laughs> <laughs> I love the I love the physical humour. <laughs> It's a lot of fun, even though I come off with a sore face. <laughs> <laughs>、uh, do you really slap? I mean, do it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sometimes harder than other times. <laughs> I can see him starting to wince just before the slap comes. <laughs> I think the slapping is part of my favourite part of the show too. When we first started rehearsing, I'm quite a mild character, and I don't usually slap people. And I was thinking, you know, there's so many slaps in it. I'm like, oh, I can't slap you, Kyle. I felt so bad, and I thought I was going to hurt him. And the director, John, was just saying, just, just slap him like this. You know, use your, you know, hit him in this part of the face. Use the flat of your hand and just do it. I'm like, okay, I'll do, just it. do I'll it. it. Just do it. So I did it. And I'm like. Ooh, that, that felt really good. <laughs> <laughs> I realized I just couldn't stop. I'm like, can, can we do that scene again? I just want to. <laughs> Would it be like a little bit techniques,、uh, how to make it like look real but less hurt? Of course, it's all done in a way that nobody really gets hurt.、Mm -hmm. You do actually have to slap to get that sound,、yeah. but there is a way, you know, where you make sure you don't hit them. You know, you sort of hit them on the lower. Could you please show us? You ready, Carl? Oh yeah. You ready? Thank you. Oh! Oh no! It looks terrible, doesn't it? It looks worse than the other. Yeah, it's so real. But I also like we kick each other, but we don't actually. You know, there's a lot of、um, sort of false kicking, and then、yeah. the thing about it is the other person's the reaction. reaction、yeah. So Kyle has to really, oh, you know, to make it look <laughs> huge. But I don't really hurt him. <laughs> Do you truly believe that Lily and Um, Fred is still in love even after their divorce. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think、uh, on Lily's dressing table, where she has a picture of Fred when he was younger,、yeah. and she、mm -hmm. saved a cork that was from that was their first bottle、yeah. of champagne, champagne、yeah. uh, when they were married. Things like that. So she's obviously carrying these things with her as a re reminder and a memento of their、mm -hmm. marriage and their relationship. And、um, In this scene is definitely where it's revealed to the audience that they definitely still have feelings for each other, very strong feelings, and all this fighting and ego and anger and temper is all just、um, to, to mask and to protect their true feelings because they both just desperately want to 
be loved by each other again. Yeah, right. That's human nature. The, the more you love each other, the more you want more. The more you want to hurt each yes. other. Yeah. yeah. Also, it's kind of an integration because you sometimes on the stage when uh, acting uh, taming the shrew, you have to it, yeah. use a little bit. You know, uh, the backstage um, um, fi feelings as well. Mm. In, in this yeah. Playing yeah. as well. That's a really. I think oh. for. Fred mm -hmm. and Lily in particular, they've got the two characters that they're yes. playing, but really they start to overlap because mm -hmm. while they're, while Lily's playing the shrew, Catherine, mm -hmm. Lily's coming out Yay, in right. that and it's mm -hmm. about how do you physicalise that and, um, and I think one of the big challenges for me in the show is that Lily... Lily has a short temper and she's always angry and short and snappy and Catherine obviously being the shrew is always angry so there's a lot of anger that mm. I have to play as an actor. Any uh, funny stories happen, happen there or any mm. funny things that they do maybe to toy during the rehearsals? <laughs> We have a huge amount of fun in rehearsals. I can't think of one particular story, yeah. but every People rehearsal are always there's always playing pranks. There's always pranks and laughs on <laughs> set, and it's always mm. making fun of each other. I'm supposed to jump on his back, and he's very tall. If he stood up <laughs> right now, you'd be. <laughs> so in rehearsals for the fight scene, I'm supposed to run and jump on his back, and it took me about ten goes to actually <laughs> get up on his back. I go to jump, and I'd be like, oh, I can't, I can't get up there. So now he actually yeah. has to bend down a little bit for oh. me to jump on. And I'm like, okay, I'm on. And then <laughs> It's really challenging because you you are Australians and you make this American uh, Broadway show and you bring it to Chinese audience. So it's you know I think yeah. it's it's quite uh, um, awkward to think of that. Because the great thing is in this show, it's, um, the Shakespeare part of the show and the modern part of the show backstage both have a mirroring storyline. Mm -hmm. So you get to tell the story in contemporary speak, in Shakespearean speak, mm -hmm. as well as through the dancing and through the singing. So you actually have four ways of telling the same story. And so working through all of those, you can really make sure that the Chinese audience, whether they can speak English or not, um, are able to understand the storyline and follow the characters through their journey in the show. Price a little bit. Sometimes well, you, you may stop for some laughing, but it was, it was silence. <laughs> and sometimes you didn't expect any laughing and the, the first thing to laugh. laugh right. Yes, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. That's part of the, the give and take when you're playing to it on a stage for an audience is that you, you try and get a feel for their mood and what they want to have mm -hmm. and you try to start to feed towards that as you go along and each audience is different every night so you get yes. used to trying to make each show mm -hmm. for that audience rather than just a stock standard yeah. production. Mm -hmm. yeah. You never do with any of your audiences, mm -hmm. you never know how they're going to react and that's why it's always so exciting to do the first performance with an mm -hmm. audience because it's always you know, a lucky dip, you never That's know. Right. And, and they often yeah. respond differently to what you expect and laugh at different mm -hmm. places. Because um, as a performer, you're so involved in the show yourself, you don't really know how people are seeing it from the outside. Then when you get into the story, it's a universal story. It's yeah. about love and relationships. Mm -hmm. And you find that e anywhere. Mm -hmm. And all these characters are stock standard characters and stereotypes that everyone will relate to. Um, anywhere in the world so I think it's not uh, you know culturally it's not a you know a purely Western story it's mm -hmm. like everybody falls in love and everybody has egos everybody has tempers um, you know everyone has drama in their lives so that they can relate to this story universally which I yeah. think is and that's right why thing. it's a classic. It's a classic. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. Everybody can relate to that in, even in different times. You know, it was that's like right. 60, almost 60 years ago. Yeah. 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 And even today, it looks really more than it, it's so fresh. No? Yeah, exactly. so, yeah. 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 And you make it yeah. fresher. Yeah. So before coming to China, what, what was your expectation about this country and this people? Chinese people have been so wonderful and friendly, like, mm -hmm. even though we can't speak the language, if we go in there, we sort of point to what we really want, and then they yeah. say, okay, you know, money, and, and it's, um, you know, a lot of um, charades to try and get across what you mean, yeah. but everyone's so wonderful and friendly, it's been really easy, which has been mm. fantastic. Yeah. The cast, Jared, who plays one of the gangsters, <laughs> he went to a restaurant and we were looking at the pictures, because they, they always have pictures, yeah, which is yeah. great, so we can sort of see and point to what you're ordering, and it came to the dessert page, and this beautiful mountain of ice cream and cream and cherries and yeah. strawberry toppings, like, oh, I want one yeah. of those. Pointed <laughs> to it. It came out and it was actually mashed potato. <laughs> <laughs> what do you